Welcome back to Economics. This is Dr. Kling, still talking about GDP. And I said last time that there were a whole lot of issues regarding the concept and calculation and figuring out GDP, a whole lot of issues that I don't care so much about. But there's one issue that I care a great deal about, and that's nominal versus real GDP. So nominal GDP is the dollar value of goods and services. And real GDP is, in some sense, the physical value. Physical value of goods and services. And the I the difference is price differences. So let me illustrate. Suppose we were trying to compare rice production in the US versus Japan. So rice production in the US versus Japan. And I told you that in the US we produced a thousand dollars worth of rice and in Japan they produced 500 yen worth of rice. Would that answer your question about how much who's producing more or how much we're producing relative to Japan? I say, I tell you, we produce a thousand dollars worth, Japan produces 500 yen worth. Does that answer your question? Not really, because you don't know how dollars compared to yen. You have to adjust for the exchange rate between dollars and yen in order to answer that question. Well, but if I told you how many um, tons of rice, if I said the U.S. produces 400 tons and Japan produces 800 tons, then that would be a physical measure. So this would be a physical measure, and this is a, do a well, a, um, I'll call it a dollar measure, or a dollar measure, or yen measure. And you can tell that, tr that, the real that the physical measure can give you a different answer than the currency measure if, if the currencies are different. Well, the same sort of currency conversion problem arises if I were to talk about, let's say, the U.S. production of rice in 2010, let's say, is $1,000. And then in 2000 was $950. One of the things you want to know is, well, what happened to the price of rice between 2000 and 2010? In order to figure out whether we actually produced more rice, you'd have to know what happened to the price of rice. For example, if the price of rice was a dollar here, a dollar per ton, then this would tell you that you produced a thousand tons here. If the price back here was 90 cents, then you produced more than a thousand tons back in 2000. You actually produced more real rice back in 2000. That you know, a lot of the increase from the 950 to a thousand dollars came about because of the big price increase from 90 cents to a dollar, and you actually reduced the amount of rice that you produce. So this is the nominal measure, and this is the real measure, where, where back then you produced more than a thousand. Okay, so that's the idea. 
and I'm going to show how to use it, how to calculate it using something called a GDP deflator, which is a bit old-fashioned. It's the way it was done when I was growing up, but it's easier to understand. There's actually a different method used now called a chain weighted price index and I'm not even going to try to explain what that is but it, it works a lot like this deflator except it's more complicated the formula for the deflator is simply nominal GDP divided by real GDP. And one important feature of the deflator is that it always equals one in a what's called a base year. So let's say we set the base year equal to 2000. So we set the base year equal to the year 2000. So, and let's suppose then we have, if we have nominal GDP in 2000 is $1,000, that means all, the value of all the goods and services sold is $1,000. The <coughs> that's because it's the base year. In the base year, nominal equals real. So real GDP in two thousand will also equal a thousand dollars. For example, we could have had sold a hundred hamburgers, hamburgers for ten dollars each, and that's a total of a thousand dollars worth of hamburgers. Let's say that's our entire economy. That's our that was our nominal GDP and our real GDP. So both of them. Now next year, if we sell 105 hamburgers, so that's in year 2000. Now if we sell 105 hamburgers in year 2001, then we want to say that the real GDP is higher by 5% because we've produced 5% more real hamburgers. But suppose that the nominal GDP, but suppose nominal GDP is Okay, nominal GDP it is the 105 hamburgers, let's say, times a price of, I'll well, make it really grotesque, $20 per hamburger. And that gives us, what, uh, $2,010? Is that right? $2,100? So 2100 for nominal GDP. So wow, our nominal GDP more than doubled. But that's because the price of hamburgers doubled. The real GDP is equal to the physical amount, the 105, times the base year price. 
So we go back to the base year price, which was ten dollars. So we get 105 times 10 is equal to 1,050, and that's our real GDP, and that's that is higher than by five percent. So when we multiply the number sold by the base year price, we're going to get the real GDP. And finally, the deflator is equal to nominal over real is equal to 2100 over 1050 is equal to 2. And what that means is that prices are twice as high as what they were. There's been a 100% price increase, and that's in fact what happened. We went from $10 in the base year to $20 in the following year. So prices doubled, and that means the deflator doubled. So let me put this information into a table. Let's say in the current year, the amount sold is 2100 measured in dollar terms. Okay, so we've got the current year measured in dollar terms, 2100. And the current year price is $20. So this is the, the information that we, we would typically have. And then in the base year, we had $1,000 in, uh, in the amount sold, and the price was $10. And our, uh, what we're told to do is calculate real GDP. So real GDP in the base year always equals nominal GDP. So we can always take this $1,000 and move it over here to get real, get the real GDP, $1,000. To get real GDP in the current year, we take real is equal to nominal times the price in the base year divided by the price in the current year. So using that formula with these numbers, that would be equal to 2100 times price in the base year 10 over the price in the current year of 20 so it's one half of this or 1050 and that becomes our real GDP so remember this formula here real is equal to nominal times the price in the base year over the price in the current year next time we're going to apply this to an economy with more than just one good. See you then.